Hello, everyone. I am Chao Chuan. Let's draw the head of the me cat in a front view. The me cat's head looks oblate and furry when viewed from the front. We first need to determine the overall outline of its head and locate each part on the drawing paper. Then let's draw its eyes. Its eyes are shaped like apricot pits, with the inner corners downcast, and the outer corners tilted. Then let's draw its big pupils. After that, let's draw shadings in its eyes. We can draw more shadings in the upper part and leave more blank spaces in the lower part so that the eyes look watery. Its face is relatively long, and the position of its nose is somewhat low. Its nose looks like a squashed apple, wide at the top and narrow at the bottom. Next, let's draw its nostrils. There is a vertical line between the nostrils. Then, let's draw the structure around its eyes. Draw its eyelids first. Its eyelids form swimming ring-like structures around the eyes. We can first outline them with dotted lines, and then fill them with hatching. When filling them, we need to draw these lines in the growth direction of its fur. Between its two eyes, let's draw some folds. There is a sunken darker area under the eye. It has a wide mouth and always keeps a smile. Its mouth is close to its nose. The top of its head is relatively flat, with ears on either side. After that, let's use furry lines to outline the face, as well as its neck.
Now, let's add some details. First, fill its ears with hatching. Next, draw some short lines around its eyes to represent the texture of the fur. Then, draw some shadings on its cheeks. Draw the dark patches around its eyes. Draw some short hairs on its nose. Finally, draw its whiskers. We can also cast some shadings under its neck. Add more shadings to its face to better differentiate between dark and light parts of its face. In this way, the front view of the meerkat's head has been finished.